Ladybug and Cat Noir is such a successful show that not only have many animators begun to copy it in their creations, but the creator himself, Jeremy Zag, decided to rehash our favorite superhero in his next hit and sell it to us again. From the small details to the almost exact copy of the face, character, and behavior, the studio stole from themselves, deciding that no one would notice. Now I'll show you in detail before starting. Subscribe to the channel. It sounds very strange, but the creator of the cult series himself could not think of anything better than to steal his best creation behind his face one more time. Well, yes, the insect was invented by Thomas Astruck. Therefore, it is not surprising why ZAG did not bother. According to the businessman, to achieve the same popularity, it is necessary to make the project as similar as possible. And he did it perfectly in the animated series Ghost Force. This show has been postponed for many years from 2016. Looks like all this time Jeremy has been pulling to steal more from his old creation. And he succeeded. Meet Jane. The blonde-haired girl dressed in yellow and black seems to be quite cute, but it is worth looking at her for more than one minute. As you can see, cunning and stubborn habits, arrogance, and other qualities are almost exactly copied from Chloe Bourgeois. Yes, this is it. Only in a different reincarnation and now lives in New York. She is also always unhappy, always makes a face, wears clothes of the same colors. And she even has a sister. It's a pity the sister turned out to be a twin and the same snake. In essence, Chloe also has a sister, Zoe. However, thank God she turned out to be adequate. But actually in a series where teenagers turn into superheroes, it would not be enough to limit oneself to one similarity and therefore meet Marinette. Or rather, her copy is Liv Baker. This dark-haired girl with red streaks wears pink pants, a pink backpack, and a black sweater with pink bats. Reminds of no one. Yes, she only has one ponytail instead of two, but all the manners of communication and behavior are exactly copied from Marinette, half for sure. And yet she was given a very funny surname, Baker, which means big in translation. Isn't that a reference to the Marinette family business? Also, next to her, you can see this handsome guy vaguely similar to a mixture of Adrian and Zack Storm, but alas, she is not in love with him. So this boy named Andy is her own brother and the elder one at that. It's a pity because in general, Andy is very similar to Adrian. Sometimes it seems that you just have to dye his hair blonde and you can't distinguish them. The only thing is that Andy will look younger next to Adrian, but even the three characters didn't stop Zack from stealing, giving us a parody of Nino. Now he's a little fatter and looks bigger than old Nino, but everything else is completely stolen. He wears a plaid shirt like Nino's brother, Chris. He has short hair, glasses, truly round, and a similar manner of communication. His name is Mike and it seems that he and Liv are best friends. Next, I caught my eye on the teacher, Miss Jones, who recruits her students to create a secret team, the Phantom Force. Judging purely by appearance and fanaticism for her work, she reminds me of Miss Mendeleeve. Only 50 years younger, Ms. Jones seems harsh at times, but cares deeply for her students, especially when it comes to the ghost force. As she has stated, she gets very worried when they go on their mission to stop the ghosts from terrorizing New York City. It is her austerity that makes her even more like her counterpart from Paris. Drake Miller is another kid that crosses paths with the Ladybug character. Yes, this time there are fewer similarities, but if you watch closely for a while, you can see Max in it. Drake has tan skin, blue eyes, and black hair styled in a spiked afro. He wears a black teal shirt with three yellow dots connected to form a triangle. He looks more like a bully than a well-mannered Maximum. But when Max transforms into Pegasus, that's when it started. Well, very similar. And now the funniest resemblance of all time as the headmaster. It seems that Mr. Damocles still has a living debt and he works in the USA. His name is Professor Pascal, a teacher of chemistry, history, biology of animals and plants at a school in New York. Pascal is a short elderly man with brown eyes and thick eyebrows. A large nose and grey hair. He is a good person, very funny and fair to his students and very fair. It is with his manners of communication, the colors of his clothes that he is very reminiscent of Damocles, or rather his dad. Also, many other copied characters can still be seen in this series such as Cagney, Sabrina, Ivan, and more. Of course, the farther, the less similarity there is. But alas, they are. Alas, because I never believed that Jeremy Z.A.G.G. would try to sell us the same cartoon twice. But he decided not to reinvent the wheel. Right. Which character is the most similar? And have you watched this show? Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.